night, friends. Good morning. Um, Thursday. Thursday. Today's Thursday. Uh, a little bit of work for you to do today. So I want you to pick four different sight words than you chose on Tuesday. So four different ones and write them into sentences in your red notebook and send me a picture. Okay, different words than the words you chose on Tuesday, okay? Uh, remember, a sentence is not the girl. What about the girl? The girl is happy. That would be a sentence, right? So remember, you start with capital and with a period. Put spaces in between your words. Send me four sentences with four different sight words. Okay? Uh, let's see, in your packet, you have a spring syllables activity. Here it is. This is so cute. So syllables, remember you're not sounding out the word. You're not saying b, uh, t, er, full, uh, i. Butterfly. Okay, just say it, put your hand under your chin. Ladybug, how many chin drops are there? Cloud, remember one's the trickiest. You don't say, look at the cloud. It's not a cloud, right? Cloud, one syllable for cloud. Those are the trickiest ones, so you gotta be super careful with those. Um, and then the CH digraph match. So CH, remember we're working on that digraph in foundations. So CH says ch, 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 chin, ch. So you're gonna put CH words on this side and words that are not CH words on this side. All right, so if it starts like ch, 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 goes here. If it's not, goes on this side. Okay, so two papers to do today. Uh, seesaw, I'm gonna send you subtraction. So subtraction, remember, is takeaway. So click on the little light bulb. You're gonna have a subtraction activity to do. And then also a sort with fiction and nonfiction books. So remember, fiction, fake, not real. So our Tiptoe Joe book that we heard earlier in the week, that's a fiction story. Uh, but then there are other stories like Brave Norman that we read. Do you remember Brave Norman, the little puppy that went into the water to rescue the girl? Uh, that would be a nonfiction. So remember nonfiction stories. We read one right before we left about a zoologist and another one about a doctor. Remember nonfiction books generally have photographs, normally a table of contents or a glossary, and it gives you facts and information about something. So that's how you know if it is a nonfiction book. If it's a book about dogs it's probably nonfiction. if it's a book called fluffy the super dog that's probably a fiction book because it's probably not true all right um yeah so i'll send that to you so click on the light bulb and do that practice your sight words all of them practice all of your sight words for me you don't have to send me a video of that just practice them with someone at home read them uh reading eggs 10 minutes do your levels in brass make sure you're reading recording taking the quiz you've been doing really good with that lately a lot of you have been logging on reading even more than just the book that i assigned you so you can read any of those books uh, moms and dads, if you're listening to this, let me know if you're finding that the books are too easy or too difficult for your kiddos, and I will adjust the reading level on my end so they only have access to a couple different levels. Um, you have a gym activity for Mr. Cole today, so I'll send that out. And I think that's all I know. All right, look forward to seeing your work. Look forward to seeing your pictures. And that's all for today. Bye.